So next up, we have to go really fast. The next lightning talk is by Eniko Garrido. Yay! And he brought his fan club. <laughs> Eniko works uh, on the application maintenance service uh, for the Renfe Group, the Spanish railway company. He loves trains. And um, in character, he took a 12-hour train ride from Barcelona to Torino. Please welcome Eniko. And uh, yeah, how WordPress community changed your life. Well, so hello all. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here. <laughs> As you can see on the title, I'm going to talk about uh, how the community changed my life. My name is Eneko, and this is not basic. This is on. No? Yeah. The other one? Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, So, uh, my name is Aneko. As I mentioned on the slide, uh, I, am, I like to define just like another person. Uh, I'm a Basque local GTA, uh, and also I contribute to the, Spain, so to the Spanish from Spain translation team. I'm a full stack uh, web developer who loves to work with open source software. And if you want, uh, you have there all, all my social media networks, uh, you could follow me, or if you want, you can meet me, and I have an NFC tag with my contact info. Uh, I'd like to, to thank Yoast for sponsoring me through the Yoast Diversity Fund, uh, which make it possible for me to, to be here today. So no more introductions. <laughs> we are going to talk about my life before I met the WordPress community. I was born a few months before WordPress on January 2003 in Pamplona, okay? You know, San Fermines, the running of the bulls, and all things like that, okay? Uh, I don't like Pamplona, I'm not a fan, to be honest, so let's pass. Uh, in, 2000, in 2019, I was uh, 16 years old, and I was trying to finish the compulsory studies the compulsory education in Spain. Uh, I was having some trouble with that, so I had to quit the school and repeat the course. And later on, um, I got uh, officially uh, defined as an autistic person, <laughs> uh, which explained, explained to me a lot of about me. Okay, uh, my first work camp was work at Bilbao 2019. Uh, I saw that on, on my website dashboard. I didn't, go, I didn't go earlier to any WordPress event. That was also my first WordPress event. Uh, I went there not knowing anyone, not no, knowing what to do, not knowing who, who were talking, who, uh, what was that, okay? So I'm... I was getting out of the venue uh, with some new contacts, with some new friends I made on, on lunch. And next day, I went to the Contributor Day. On the Contributor Day, I met uh, Luis Rule, who is a person from the Spanish community, a Spanish polyglot uh, contributor, and introduced me to the polyglot team. Uh, I've been translating WordPress to Spanish and Basque since then. And as I said earlier, I'm GT for the Basque Local, which really is such an honor for me. And here I started with an idea of making a blog about trains. My second WordCamp was WordCamp Irun, uh, also seen on the WordPress dashboard. Um, at that time, I was already a little bit familiar with the WordPress community. It was a very great opportunity. I remember that in this 
Work at Mirun, there was a new format who was called uh, WordPress on the street. That was like taking the talks from here for, to the street for free for every people that was, every person that were there. And it was a very great opportunity to, to meet uh, new, new people in the community. And as, as you see, uh, I have this shirt because this shirt means a lot for me. This is the WordCamp Pontevedra shirt, which has uh, Jose Luis Guapu on it. Uh, Jose Luis Lozada, um, I'm here because of you, okay? Uh, Jose Luis is, is a person uh, who is well, well known on the WordPress Spain community. Uh, sadly, is here with us, but not physically here with us. Um, I don't even know what to say about him. He's a very good person. So thank you for all the work that you have done for the community. One, please, one. <laughs> and I also met uh, Rocio Valdivia, who said me learn JavaScript is the future. I talk about this on my talk up on WordCamp Chiclana uh, this year. And thanks to that, I started uh, doing very great things. After 2019, I had the pleasure of welcoming 2020 into our lives. <laughs> so the pandemic moment. Uh, we, were, we went into a pandemic, uh, stores closes, schools closes, uh, or was, all was closed. Uh, we were all at home. Um, it was a bit of a strange time, okay? Some people from Spain had the idea to do an online work camp, uh, work camp online, work camp España online, which was, was my first really work camp as a volunteer. Uh, I was uh, really happy to be able to, to be there uh, managing the, so the social media networks and post and programming. Uh, the posts and learning more, learning really more about the community. I remember when we finished the work camp, we were on the after party and we said, "Oh, there is a work camp online in I don't know. I remember. I think that was Manila or something like that, and uh, a work camp of I don't know a hundred people. Uh, then we joined like four four hundred people at the same time from our homes." We all were on Wahari's house, so so that was that was amazing. Uh, first presidential work camp after after the pandemic, uh, work camp in 2022. <laughs> uh, as a volunteer, the first in in person work camp as a volunteer, it was a great time to reconnect with the community. Um, a lot of hugs <laughs> uh, was like, whoa, this is my family. <laughs> and I really got to experience what was uh, volunteering in an in-person event. And also volunteering on a work camp or being as a speaker or as an, or as an organizer, you really uh, got to know uh, what is like being with the community in a more personal way because you are 24-7 with the community on the event. And then I started to work uh, full-time as a developer for the Renfra Group. Um, on June 2022, I learned what I needed for that work thanks to what uh, Rocio Valdivia told me on Work and Virun. Uh, was very inspiring for me what Rocio Valdivia told me. So. Thanks to, to the words that she told me, uh, I am here and I was on the office. Uh, my first work camp as a speaker, work camp Pontevedra, with the same shirt I, that, I re, that I wear right now. Since then, I also have been on work camp Chiclana 2024, uh, talking about the interactivity app. Just a week it released. Uh, so it was like a very new talk. And also I've been on Work and Bilbao uh, where I had the change, I had the chance 
to share some helpful tips on monitoring our WordPress uh, sites, okay? So nowadays, uh, my work is undefined. <laughs> uh, I left my job on the Renfe Group, and in my spare time, I contribute to the Polyglots team. Uh, I am now trying to refresh all the Basque local, uh, trying to have it up to date because um, we need to finish with the core translations. Uh, and especially, I, I check and improve that, the translations on the Basque local. Um, I'm here because of Yoast, really, uh, because they paid me the, the trip. <laughs> uh, I couldn't afford by me uh, this trip. Uh, and yeah, I will, I will be here on the, on the hallways. Uh, so if you want to talk to me, uh, you want to know more about me, uh, you could just feel free to go for me and do like this. And hey, Eneko, how are you? Um, thank you for your time. <laughs>